Hello guys, my name is Shweta. I am here to talk about my college which is Kennesaw State University and I will also be covering topics like cost of living, expenses here, grad, um, assistantships and uh, job search etc. So first thing is you would be thinking why should I even do a masters right when you have a bachelor's degree. So let me answer that. Uh, it's really important to be upgraded with the current technology uh, technologies which is running in the market and I would say ma doing masters is one of the best way to be updated with the market not only uh, technically but it would definitely help you improve your interpersonal skills so if you are doing your masters abroad you will be mingling with a lot of people and it is a very diverse environment and you, there is there are a lot of culture you get to learn a lot of things lot of culture you can even teach uh, people about your culture and definitely it would make you think in a very wide spectrum. I would say your creativity will not be limited to whatever uh, you have been doing till now. So I would definitely opt and go for masters. And uh, now uh, let me talk something about my college. So why Kennesaw State University, right? So there are a lot of reasons for this. Let me first get started with the first and most important thing, which is being updated with the technologies. So I would say our college has the most recent technologies. It teaches machine learning, it teaches AI, it teaches big data, text mining, uh, cyber security, a lot of things. Uh, when it comes to IT, you even have an option to learn full stack development. And I know for sure that it is very hot in the market. Uh, please don't take me wrong as I am speaking only about computer science. So as I am a computer science student, I can for sure tell you that we have a, we are, the, uh, KSU is offering a lot of updated courses and I am very sure that other departments are offering too. So yeah, and we also have uh, other subjects like uh, special topics and directed studies. If you want to learn something which is not in the syllabus, you can opt for that and learn it under a professor. It can be any subject, whatever you wish. So I would say this is uh, very flexible and it is something which makes our college very unique. And coming to the next part, which is the most important thing, that is cost of living. So cost of living, if you are studying in KSU, is uh, uh, there are two factors which influence that. The first one is the college and the second one is the uh, state, which is Georgia. So Georgia, there is uh, the cost of living in Georgia is very less compared to most of the states in the United States. Uh, states. So here, I would say if you are uh, a student and if you are uh, renting a house and sharing it among your friends, then probably you would end up spending somewhere around seven hundred dollars at the max. That too, if you are not cutting off on any of your luxury. So I would say it is pretty well, uh, pretty much a very a good deal for a student. It includes your uh, rental, your other expenses like groceries, your bills, etc., phone bills, etc. So everything would not cross more than 700. And yeah, coming to the next uh, important factor, which is college. So uh, our college offers a lot of assistantships, which can really save your money. So. Uh, like uh, we have teaching assistant and research assistant these two are the main uh, important assistantships and if you get any of them then your fee will be waived and you will be getting stipend which will cover your monthly expenses so basically there is no risk at all in this case so uh, if you are doing any assistantship probably you will end up spending somewhere around thousand bucks as a college fee and rest would be your monthly expenses and uh, yeah and apart from the assistantships our college even offers on campus jobs where you can work in a cafeteria or a part time or like a grader uh, so all these jobs will be providing stipend which will pretty much cover your monthly expenses and there is one more thing which is very unique about our colleges if you are having a gpa about 3.5 and above then you will be eligible for in-state fee structure so the in-state 
in-state free, uh, if you are elig eligible for in-state, then probably you will spend somewhere uh, around 4,000 at the max per semester for um, nine credits, that is three subjects. Otherwise, as an international student, probably you will end up spending uh, $12,000 per semester. So it is pretty much a very uh, good deal. And yeah, a lot of people have asked me like, uh, how is masters? Is it too tough? Uh, will we get that much GPA? So I would say uh, definitely you will be getting that much of GPA because it is pretty much the norm here. It's not like, uh, uh, it's not, uh, It basically it really depends on how well you study. I would say that the education system here is more focusing on how well you learn rather than what you score in your subjects. Because of that, I would say everybody are encouraged to learn, encouraged to do their own projects. Even if you uh, probably miss your exam because you are ill or something, if you are very good at the subject, if you have demonstrated something, uh, some like a project or something which really showed your skills, then definitely that would be considered. So I would say it is really um, student friendly and it really helps us improve our knowledge beyond the whatever spectrum we were limited till now so uh, yeah that is with the expenses and coming to the uh, last part of what I would wish to talk is most of you guys would be thinking what happens to our visa like there is a ban on H1B or a lot of things I would say that please do not think about that because it is not in our hands whatever happens with the visa decisions you cannot make any changes irrespective of that as a student you will be getting at least three years of work permit and nobody can really snatch that from you and I feel three years of work permit is really good amount of time to gain whatever you want or whatever your plans are you can probably achieve in those three years and uh, this is uh, apart from H1B stuff so uh, yeah, let me also talk about how KSU will help you find a job, right? So as we know in India, we have something like campus interviews where companies come to our campus and they conduct interviews. So in United States, it is not like that. You have to search your own job. Yes, I agree that it is a bit of uh, a hassle, but uh, I would say K KSU has really made it easy for most of us. So we have this career fair which goes on every semester and it is really helpful for a lot of people to get full-time jobs as well as internship. Most of my friends ended up getting an internship and a full-time job because of the career fairs conducted by our college. So it, uh, it is really, uh, uh, it, it covers everything so KSU has not left any stone unturned so for everything they, ha they have been rendering help to the student to succeed. I would say this is probably the best college I have ever known which is so student friendly and I really hope to see you guys uh, in my college. Uh, yep, thank you so much and hope to see you there soon.